Hi everyone, it's Gail and I am back from my Thanksgiving break in filming. So um, I apologize if I'm out of practice, <laughs> don't do as, uh, as well as normal. But um, first, first we have to say hi and hugs. So I wanted to say hi and hugs to Declan and to his grandma, Lyndon. Declan, you are a sweetheart to watch my videos with your grandma. I love it. So Declan, I have a little job for you. Can you give your grandma, Linda, a big, big hug for me? I would appreciate it. Thank you, sweet boy. So um, that was a fun way to start this video. <laughs> Oh, soft spot in my heart for for grandsons and granddaughters. Okay, I wanted to first show you everything I did while I was having my little Thanksgiving vacation, if you will. Um, let's start with these. So, you know, I got this wonderful fabric from Kathy Holden, and I've been dying to play with it, and I just haven't had time with doing um christmas videos and stuff but i had myself a play a couple of play days actually and made some journal covers so wanted to share those with you so this uh particular pattern is in her flea market mix fabrics and then everything else is from the flea market moxie um collection so uh so yeah so kathy is the designer of the fabric and there's lots of places that sell it there if you um if you search flea market moxie on etsy a bunch of different shops will come up or flea market mix and different it's it's mostly quilting type shops i think but um yeah so uh that's where that's where i got this was from uh, one of those stores on Etsy. So I thought this fabric just lent itself to quilting. So I um, used a 12 by nine envelope. I put batting down and then I put the fabric over the top and then I sewed around each of the elements on this fabric. And then I put the same fabric on the inside. I am thinking I'm having so much fun with my use it up journal um, for Christmas that I'm thinking of doing a similar journal and and using this cover for that so that was the first one then um, then I thought you know this needlepoint fabric from uh, flea market moxie same thing so I did the same sort of cover and just went around all of these various squares and then I put her um, text fabric on the inside. So there's that one ready to go. And then <laughs> her paint by numbers as well. I thought, oh, that would be fun. So what I did is I put this trim on each, around each of the images on this fabric. And then once again, I have the um, text there. So then I had the idea, I was thinking about the pockets for in here and I don't know if I want fabric or if I want, um, you know, cardstock or something. So I left them, I just left them until I actually make a journal with them. But um, I was thinking about the inside covers because before I have taken like a piece of fabric and gone right across here. Uh, as a pocket, you know, with, with the fabric. Before I sew the inside cover on, I, I sew on a piece of fabric this way and then it makes, it makes pockets. But then I thought, what if I did that on the outside? So that's what I did on this one. So there's a pocket here, a pocket here, pocket here, and pocket here. Because I just sewed them on um, I sewed them on and then, um, you know, while I sewed on the, the, the cover. 
So um, first I edged them. I, I just did a ham. I just edged them and, um, and then zigzagged and then went around. And then this fabric is, um, I think this is flea market mix. I'm pretty sure. And it's like the old Victorian calling cards. So I just cut them apart. And my initial idea was to make kind of padded um, uh, journal journal cards out of them. And then I, I just thought that would be fun on the cover. So love that. That turned out really great. So I have four covers ready to rock and roll. I'm so excited. And then yesterday I spent the day slow stitching this um, uh, needlepoint fabric. Um, Kathy had on her Instagram page, she had done it in white and I did mine in kind of a gold and um, I love how it turned out. I hope you can see it. I'll pull it up. Isn't that fun? So yeah, I was just sitting on the couch, slow stitching away yesterday. So I have that that done, that slow stitch, but I haven't made it into a cover yet. So, um, but it's ready to go when I am ready to make one. So there, that was part of what I did. And then the slow stitching, I decided to make several, um, little patches of fabric that could go on journal cards. So I don't know, we might make those today. Other than show and tell, I'm not sure what we're doing. <laughs> that one, this one, and then this one. So I had some fun slow stitching. That was just yesterday that I did, I did those pieces. But then I also did... I had some more fun with the collage pages. This one I just kind of did in a in a real pale neutral way because I don't know. I was just using up my scraps, so I don't even know what journal it's going to go into. And then this one I used some pieces of wallpaper and map and. I love how this one came out too. So I thought, you know, when I feel like doing this, I'm just going to make up pages and they can just, they can just wait until the right journal comes along for them. So then my other thought was, what if I did that on, um, on just an index card? So I have a coffee dyed index card and I just put itty bitty scraps around it. And I want to put a focal point in the middle. I'm not quite sure what, but that could be something we might work on today too. I'll put that with the maybe we'll work on. Um, one day I made some more pockets. These little pockets come from my porch prints. And I just decorated them up and got little um, journal cards and stuff popped inside. Um, so, so yeah, each one has a couple journal cards. This one has an old playing card. And um, so I thought those were pretty fun. thought those were pretty fun. Little bling on each of them and stuff. So that's that was one day I just played with those. Um, one day I also made these for the next four journals that I'm doing. These are, you know, the flip downs. And this was just um, some leftover paper that I had from Hobby Lobby. And I just then put little closures on them. We closed behind Santa on this one. Then this I had in my stash and I just put a little stickles on it to jazz it up a little bit. So I did those. And then I found these in my stash, these bingo cards. And so I put some little buttons on them, just glued them on. And then I put stickles in the um, buttonholes. I thought I could use those. So, oh, one other thing I did. So that's all the bits and pieces that I did. I'm going to set that those aside for the moment. Um, 
this little journal, my use it up journal. I did a few things in here, if I can remember. Oh, I, I found that in my stash, pop that in there. Um, I'll just see, I know I, I glued a couple things in. Um, pop this little reindeer card in there, found that. Oh, I put this sticker on that I found in my stash. Uh, where is that? Oh, playing card in there. Okay, must be all in the back is where I put these. Okay, put a little playing card in there. And I, I need more things to tuck in the in the pockets, obviously. Oh, this here it is. So I glued this in. This is a piece from Journal Me Crazy and super cute little pocket. And it's got, look at that awesome tag. And then it's got a tag, a, a tag pocket and a tag. I mean, it's got all sorts of tags is what I'm saying. <laughs> and then that goes in that pocket. And then I glued it on so I have a space there. So something will need to go there. Um, and then the other thing I did was this one again from Journal Me Crazy, and it's a little belly band, and then this little cute little tag pocket that goes with that. And that goes in there. And I looked the I looked this morning, which I am filming this on Monday. So I looked this morning and she had she had a lot of fun Christmas ephemera like this in her shop. So FYI. So that's what I did those things in there. Um, I did grab this because I'm using things up, right? I mean, these journal cards are great and I just I just haven't used them. And um labels and stuff these are alphabet stickers yeah so you know stuff like this i i kind of want to just just use up so we might work in this journal a little bit too um i was thinking about these and i was thinking uh hang on let me grab this and we'll look i don't know Somebody asked me, how do you organize your ephemera, your Christmas ephemera? I, I think there's somebody new to the channel that hasn't seen before. I have this shoebox size thing that has playing cards, stickers, tags and pockets, ephemera, and whatever else, cards, that sort of stuff. Um, and so, anyways, yeah, those... Um, there's those. <laughs> There's that. And then for each journal I do, I do one of these little buckets. These are on my Gail's favorite things. And I just put the things that I may use in a particular journal in, in here. So, um, so there's that. Okay. What I'm looking for is I had some coffee dyed I had some coffee dyed, uh, whatchamacallit, um, 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 project life cards, journal cards. Okay. Should be back here somewhere. Maybe if I've properly filed them. just look quick in the other areas because that was what I was thinking or those might work tags huh I don't know so like I say I'm using the term organized loosely because it has gotten to be quite the jumbled jumbled up 
mess. Um, maybe I have them in here. I think I might. Now that I say that, yes, I do. Here they are. So there was one of two places. So I was thinking about maybe putting these on here and decorating up, you know, but I'm going to have to find the right ones. They all go the wrong way, which is lovely. I could do that and then and then put something here and something across there. What's the back look like? Oh, it's just polka dots. That's fine. I like this bright one on here. Oh. Well, that hurts my, my eyeballs. <laughs> There's no place to write if I do that. I could put, that's what I'll do. I'll put um, coffee dyed paper behind it. Then I can put this here. And I don't know, something across there. Okay. We have ideas for these two. Yeah, I found myself in dire need of um, ephemera, really, with the journals that I'm working on. Yeah, I like that. And then I can put something up there. And then we'll put coffee dyed paper on the back. Okay, so there's that one. Um, what are these like? Hmm. Now if I put that on there... I could put like a Tim Holtz person or something. Okay, maybe we'll make a couple little ones. Here's one that's just red. It's got lines on the back. I'm gonna do that too, okay. I kind of just wanted to finish these pieces up a little bit. Okay, so stuff that back in there. Where are my Timmy people? Are they there in one place or another? Or, no, I don't think I want a die cut. But that was a thought. Okay, I do think I want my Timmy people. They're at the back of the other one. Okay. Let's just get them out because it's too hard to see. And I have them going the wrong ways to they. <laughs> one of my put aways was unsuccessful. Look at this cute little girl. She's adorable. Big enough. That covers up all the slow stitching. <laughs> oh, she tickles me. Okay, I think I'm going to put that on there and then I'm going to put a word down there. So, got that one figured out. This one. Who wants to go on that one? Okay, she's pretty adorable. That 
one might need a word too. We don't know. Okay, this one. This is a little mass making se session, isn't it? I love this little girl in the nightcap. This one needs something more like right there. I don't know. Okay, let's look at this. That's better. I like that better. Okay, that's pretty cute. Okay, and this one. This one, I don't think I want a person on. I think I just want like a something across there that says something. I don't Oh, I like them there. Sweet babies. Okay. And then this one, I'm going to need to put something across that. But then, have this little boy with his skates. No. <laughs> There's broken cane, dude. <laughs> on his face is kind of like oh I broke my cane oh this guy that's broken Christmas tree guy no gotta turn over some of these peeps it's this little family they're cute let's see if those people would work Okay, I have my people picked out. I'm trying to turn my people the right way here for the most part. Wow, I'm getting down on people. I wonder if he'll have some new Christmas people next year. Okay. This one, I was thinking of having some sort of a something across there. That's cute. I think I'll go with that. I might put a little book page behind there too. I don't think that one needs one. This one needs one. This one needs something to go across the, the top there. Um, but what do we want? St. Nicholas is too big, too big. I kind of like the night before Christmas because I'm thinking they just came from Christmas Eve church service. That's what I'm going to say. Okay, and these little people need some little words, which would more so be a Timmy thing, I think. Um, like, what if we did some of these words? Yeah, we'll use those. Okay. Okay, I think we'd best get to gluing here. Okay, guys, we're going to have an experiment. I'm so scared. I redid my fingernails. I used the subby that suggested that I use um, a top coat from Amazon called Out the Door. I put that on. She said that Fabri-Tac won't goof it up. So we'll see. I'm not going to like put it right on there to test it, but I'm still going to be careful. The um, top coat still has acetate in it, so I'm thinking Fabri-Tac still might, if you got a glob of it on there, it still might take it off. Come here. <laughs> okay. 
see, I just want to cover the top of that. Okay, I'm going to go grab a baby wipe. Um, just because I kind of... Then I'm not using my hand. and I am not going to distress these. I know it's shocking, but I kind of feel like, for the most part, Christmas is bright. It's kind of like the little golden books. I don't distress those either. Not that I've made one in years. I haven't. Oh my gosh, those little kids are adorable. So hope y'all had a lovely Thanksgiving. We sure did. We had a lovely day. We had, I had a little meltdown on the Wednesday night <laughs> before um, our kids FaceTimed us and it just kind of killed me that we weren't there. But, um, but then got it out of my system, I think, and I was good for the rest of the time. Look at how cute that is. And this is just a use it up kind of card. Yay. Okay. So I'm going to set that aside and we'll glue this one. Um, anyway, yeah, we had, of course, a lovely meal and, uh, I thought a lot about those that were waiting in lines at the food bank. That's that's one of the charities that Mike and I support here in our town. Just because we feel very blessed to have enough to put on our table. Okay, like that. Um... So, yeah, uh, we did that and just watched football and stuff, and it was good. We FaceTimed with our, our one daughter in Denver, and then, um, then on Sunday, we FaceTimed with the other daughter, um, Because uh, our other daughter that we FaceTime with on Sunday didn't really have a Thanksgiving. Her husband works for Amazon, and so it was busy. Then he was working. So, um, so yeah. But we got to um, chat with her on Sunday. And um, we got to do our very first try at reading to Bucky on um on FaceTime and it was great. Oh my gosh, little little stinker so cute. He just he had his stuffed bunny and he rubs his nose with the bunny's ears. <laughs> just so darn cute. And then um he had his passy because it was right before his nap, which was a great time if any of you have little ones that you're contemplating doing that. It was a great time to do it because he was sleepy anyway. And um, so, yeah, we we read him the Pokey Little Puppy. And we got a few smiles. Oh, whoops, this has a, something to poke out. Um, yeah, he, we had a few smiles and he... <laughs> Towards the end, he was getting a little bored. He started throwing his bunny on the floor, <laughs> making his mom get it. <laughs> so anyway, but I'm, I love it. And I think we're going to try and do it every week because we haven't seen him in over a year and he's just over a year old. <laughs> so yeah. A whole year has gone by and we haven't gotten to see him. So I don't, what I don't want is for him to be afraid of us when he does get to see us. And so 
I thought, you know, if we can just do that. I mean, we we FaceTime, but, you know, we're talking to my daughter or our older grandkids or whatever, and we're not focusing just on him. So, so that was a good thing on Sunday. Oh my gosh, we finished the Queen's Gambit over the holiday. That was a fun series. I I just really enjoyed it. I loved the time, the, you know, the clothing, the cars, everything. It was so good. And um, so finished that and watched an excellent... Oh, how did I do that? I had that up, didn't I? Um... Excellent movie, Hillbilly Elegy. You've probably seen it advertised on Netflix. And what's funny is from the title, I didn't really think I wanted to watch it. But my husband did. And so we we watched it. It was so good. I didn't realize Ron Howard it was the um, director. Of course it was good. So, yeah, he's amazing. And... Um, Okay, we need to find a word for that yet. Maybe this stay down. Um yeah, it was it was very good. Very good. Uh and Glenn Close, by the way, was amazing in it. And then and then in the paper over the weekend, there was a little article on Glenn Close. I didn't realize it, but she has a place in Bozeman, Montana. So, um, so she's a neighbor, you know, Glenn Close, my neighbor. <laughs> um, but I think she's an incredible actress and she, I, I don't know, she and Amy Am Adams in this movie, I mean, I don't know how they do it with Netflix or whatever, but they deserve an Academy Award, I think. They were amazing. So, there you go, little chunky girl. Okay, so I don't know. Probably didn't do that quite right to get a word on, but I might could. I don't know. We'll see. That is not heavy enough to do a doggone thing. <laughs> Maybe I'll put it under my journal and see if that helps. Okay. All right. So let's find a word for this little peanut. It's not sticking very good onto the fabric. Oh my gosh. These are super cute. Okay. Dear Santa Claus. Santa will know. I'm going to be you. Santa will know. It looks like she's like describing something and putting her. I'm just going to put that right there. Okay. That one's done. Where's the other one? Yes, it's under my book. That's where I put it. <laughs> Goodness, Gail. Okay. She's so cute. She needs something special. There's a with hugs and kisses. Um, Christmas finery. I think that's what we're going to put. And I think I'm going to put it right up here. Because she looks like she's all dressed up in her, her best little hat and coat. And her little shoes. Shoe boots. Okay. Awesome. We got those done, guys. Okay, let's get rid of this for the moment. Um, yeah, so look at that. Just like that. Five little journal cards. Just like that. It took me a little bit to um, slow stitch them all, but... Okay, and then there's this, but I don't know what I'm going to put in the middle of it. It's not Christmassy, 
so um, I was thinking about maybe a cluster or something. And then you could write on the other side. I don't know. I don't think I have any clusters that are small enough exactly. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not in the mood for not Christmas. So I think I'm just going to toss this one aside and know that that needs to be decorated at some point. Okay, so now what do we want to do? Um, we could work on the, the use it up journal a little bit, but I, oh, I was going to show you what I was thinking of doing for um, the cover for the Santa journal that I'm going to do. Let me, let me show you what I was thinking. I suppose we could just do it. No, no one's saying we can't. Okay. So I had this made up earlier. This is tissue paper that looked like burlap. And then um, I just mod podged it on the, on to a nine by 12 envelope. And I do have a journal cover playlist. So I think I, I mean, I don't know if I made this one, but I made something like it anyway there. And so, and this was a piece of paper that I had in my stash from a long ago Happy Mail. I was thinking of putting that in there on the inside. And then on the cover, I was thinking of doing something like this. I have this fabric. I was thinking of putting that there. And I was thinking of putting this piece of lace kind of just haphazardly on there. And then this is going to be a Santa journal. So I was thinking of putting Santa about there and putting this Mary about here. I was thinking of putting it slightly under the lace like that is what I was thinking. And I'd cut these off a bit. And then once I've sewn in the signature, I'm going to put lace on here because it's cracking a little bit. I've had this forever, this little guy. So that's my plan. So why not? Let's just get the Mod Podge and get her done. Oh my goodness. That was me stepping on my sack of, <laughs> my big old sack of, um, oh, that's a new one. I don't want that one. My Christmas stuff is in TJ Maxx bags, great big TJ Maxx, but Max bags, and that's what I was stepping on. Okay, let's do this thing. Yeah, I was kind of all, I need to do my um, December Craft Tech's Ambassador um, thing. I was thinking of doing that today, but but it's a tough color. It's not a Christmas color. And so, you know me, I'm into Christmas right now. I think I am going to move this journal just so I don't end up doing something I'd be sorry about. Okay, let's do this thing. Yeah, so um, I definitely wanted to tell you about that movie. And so I think now for a series, I think we might watch The Crown. I think that might be next on our list. Move that into place a little bit. Let's 
straight ish ish yeah so we went for lots of walks it was very nice here it was um it's cold as it was today when we walked it's cold but it's um sunny you know and it can be cold but if the sun's shining for some reason it doesn't feel quite as cold i built us a fire every night we had our fires it was lovely My cat is afternoon naps. I came down here and crafted while he was having his naps. Oh, and I watched the Macy's Parade. Did y'all watch the Macy's Parade? Um, I love watching that. It's, I, it, it's just a tradition from my childhood even. And uh, so kind of can't miss that. Um, so watch that. Um, Watch that. Then I made the then I made the stuffing. And yeah, it was good. Mike was not happy with his turkey. He makes the turkey. And he wasn't happy with it because it was undercooked a little bit. He said, I don't know if I messed up my time or what, but I mean, <laughs> it's just the two of us. It wasn't like we had a dinner party or anything. We just nuked it. <laughs> yeah, nothing a little nuking won't, won't solve. Okay, that's lumpy bumpy, but I don't care because... Um, doesn't have to be smooth. Okay, let's do over the top and then we'll set it aside to dry. But this will be good. We'll have, have this guy kind of ready to rock and roll. I'll put it under. I don't know that we'll get to do the other side today. Maybe we'll move on to the use it up journal. But at least you know what I was thinking. And you'll see it again as I'm working on that journal. I think next, though, I'm going to do my cozy critter journals. My little guest design team project for dreams, etc. I've heard from many of you who that you've gone to pick up that kit. It is so cute. I love it. I got it all cut out this weekend. That was the other thing that I accomplished was to get that whole kit all, all fussy cut. Yay. <laughs> it's a lot. There's a lot in that kit. Holy buckets. And so it takes a while to fussy cut it. Takes some perseverance. It's what it takes. So remind me in the comments if you gave me this piece of paper. I just, I'm not remembering who it was from. Drives me crazy when that happens. But, you know, there was too much to keep track of back in those Happy Meal days. <laughs> stick down a little bit better on that edge this would go faster with a bigger brush but you may have watched the video where I showed that I ruined my <laughs> let the water dry out and my my last Mod Podge brush bit the dust it's like, oh my gosh Gail bad sewing machine mom bad paintbrush mom
Get in there. Get in there. Okay. I'm going to call that good. I think it's down pretty good. Okay. All right. So we can let that dry and then I can just pop those other things, just glue them on the front and we'll have it. Okay. All right. I am going to go set this under my heater to dry. Okay. So what do we have left time-wise? About 15 minutes-ish. So let's open these and see what's here. Celebrating December. Favorite holiday traditions. That's fun. Peace and love. A December calendar. This little thing has a date and place to write. And then season's greetings. I really like the favorite to traditions. Where I'm thinking of using this is um, somewhere along here, isn't it? Yes, it's right here. It's not quite fitting down like I want it to. But I think it's okay. So I'd also like something smaller here's the smaller journal cards let your heart be merry and bright I like that one my favorite time of the year memories and stuff that might be fun to be in there Twas night before Christmas goodwill toward men be joyful our traditions, wish list, and spread cheer. Kind of want one that goes sideways. Is there one? New. No. Let's do this. Okay, well, that was good. We used up a couple things there. Um, I wonder, did I put a sack in this one? Does anybody remember? I have that little fun thing. Because I was thinking, if I did, I did not, I don't think. Oh, yes, I did. Because I was thinking, oh, they're too big. Bummer. Too big. Okay, well then, I'm actually going to put one of these in here. Look how fun that is. Okay, and then I'm just going to, I want to use these up. Use it up, journal. There's another one. Um, celebrating December. It's good there. Wish list would be good by Santa, wouldn't it?
Um, okay. Oh, I wonder in that other thingamajiggy this, if I could put one under there. Yes, that was good there. I'll put that there. One more. Um, have this one. Could be one of the things in there. That could go there. That could go there. Don't have any more big ones to go behind there. <laughs> Because I used them up. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. Put that there. How about in the back? Okay, we used those up. Woohoo! Okay, so now I have these itty bitty pieces. They'd be good to decorate with. I just need to remember I have them. I'm going to do a little reorganization, I do believe, um, with all my stuff cause, because it's just, yeah, this guy is getting fat, fat, fat. I found these little like they're little circles but they're out of vintage wrapping paper I was wondering if I could get that up enough to I think I could <laughs> change my mind just want that to kind of fit underneath it there. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. I was just wondering, because they are wrapping paper, if I could find spots for them. Ooh. That needs something across there, doesn't it? What? I mean, that's really cute there. wonder if I have a little sign. Yep. I'm just going to do that right there. Well, I used one of them. <laughs> so much for using them up. But maybe I'll have something else that comes to mind to use them on. And then we've got, we've got pockets to fill. That's what we've got to do. Okay. Now what? Let's let's 
What? Are, do they have anything more to fill things up with? Let's just look here. What I have, I have this cute tag. That would go well in a tuck because it's lumpy. There's another tuck over here somewhere. Probably need to do more um, probably need to do more tags. Ooh, that's just tough. It's hard because it's I think this needs to be a tuck on its own. That's what it needs to be. Okay. Yeah, I have all that stuff. Oh, I have this. This would be cute somewhere. This little notebook. See, it's just extra pages. But I kind of like that right there. Um... these from Jolene, but I'm having a hard time parting with them. Oh, I was going to put this one in my idea journal because it's the same kit. It's the um, oh, what's it called, Jolene? Something about doors. Something about doors. Let's see, it's got this. It's the Red Doors of Christmas? I don't know. I can't remember the exact name of the kit, but if you go to our shop, you'll find it. So I wanted to put this in my idea journal is where I want to put this. Oh, how about we tuck it behind Mom's guest check, Lorette. Something else for that. Oh, I need to talk to you about quickly, obviously. Oops, did this come off of something? It did, it came off of here. Why are you coming off? Yeah, you're gonna need glue, aren't ya? Um wanted to talk to you about December Daily. So my December Daily is going to kind of be a gratitude journal because I just don't think there's going to be a whole lot going on because we are, you know, we're homebound basically. I went to the post office today. It's the first time I've been out in almost three weeks <laughs> other than to go for my walk in the neighborhood. That's it. So, um, so I think what I'm going to do through December, and and I have all these, uh, 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 hang on, I can't talk and do things at the same time, apparently. Um, uh, uh, where was I? Oh, goodness. Oh, I'm going to check in every now and again with my December daily and show it to you, but I'm not going to work in it each day because I have all these journals to finish. And so, um, let me re-show you quick like. This is my December daily journal, and I've decided I want one of my friend Michelle's hearts on it, so I'm gonna put that right there. But it's gonna be kind of the things that I'm grateful for. That's, it's more gonna be that than decorating per se or anything like that. So I'm just going to check in every now and again and show you what I've been up to in it. Um, and that will be what we do for December daily this year. Because like I said, it's, I mean, in years past, I've put pictures of, you know, when we've been with our kids and grandkids, I just mailed off presents today because we're not going to see them. And so it's like, I don't have anything to take pictures of. Um, we don't go to the lake to walk anymore because, of, you know, of the 
possibility of running into people. So, yeah. So that's that's going to be my December daily experience for 2020. It's actually sort of appropriate. <laughs> it's going to be different than other years, shall we say. Okay, so I wanted to put that on there. That's super cute. I love that. I love these Michelle so much. So now I have one on my December daily. And I have one on my idea journal. So that makes me happy to have those. Okay, guys. Well, I better let you go. And thanks so much for watching. Have a grateful day. And we'll just see you in the next video. Bye-bye.